Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going tonight? It's great to be here on the Cool Ideas channel, where we take a look at some of the hottest topics in the world and, well, cool off a bit with our own take on them. Today, we're diving into the world of electric trucks, and specifically, the Tesla Semi. So, you've all heard about Tesla's electric cars, right? They're zipping around town silently, looking all fancy and futuristic. But now, they've decided to take on the big boys, the 18-wheelers, the kings of the highway, and they're doing it with the Tesla Semi. Yeah, because nothing says let's save the planet like a semi-truck hauling thousands of pounds of cargo at high speeds. Now, it's been almost a year since Tesla handed over the keys to their first semi to PepsiCo. Yeah, you heard me right, PepsiCo, the folks that bring you soda and snacks, apparently. They decided to make their delivery trucks as cool as their commercials. So, what's the deal? Tesla claims this beast can go 500 miles on a single charge. That's like driving from here to the next dimension. But here's where things get interesting. In this first real-world test, one of these semis went 335 miles on a single charge with only 17% of its battery left. I mean, talk about cutting it close, right? It's like playing chicken with a charging station. And then, the second semi managed to 195 miles before throwing in the towel. You know it's serious when your truck has to stop for a recharge more often than you do on a road. Trip, honey, we need to pull over at the next supercharger. I'm running low on battery. But wait for it, folks, the third semi is the overachiever here. It delivered an impressive 377 mile range with its battery practically begging for mercy at under 2%. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is this possible? Well, Tesla's got three electric motors powering this beast. Three. That's more electric motors than I have brain cells left after trying to understand this stuff. And they claim it's more efficient than your grandma's hybrid, less than the kilowatt hours per mile. I don't even know what a kilowatt hour is, but it sounds impressive. But here's the kicker, folks, Tesla hasn't told us how big the battery actually is. It's like they're guarding the secret recipe to Colonel Sanders fried chicken. Our best guess, somewhere around 850 to 900 kilowatt hours, that's enough to power a small city block for a week. Now, before I start sounding like I'm about to audition for the next Tesla commercial, Let's talk about the downsides. The test was in Sacramento, where the weather's as hot as a jalapeno's armpit. They didn't tell us about things like elevation changes, driving patterns, or how much junk food was in the truck. I mean, if it's hauling a shipment of Doritos, you better believe that's gonna affect the mileage. But you know what, folks, at the end of the day, you've got to hand it to Tesla. They're pushing the envelope, or should I say, the battery pack. When it comes to electric vehicles, and whether you're a fan or not, you can't deny that the idea of electric semis is pretty darn cool. So, keep your eyes on the road, and maybe one day, you'll spot a Tesla semi silently cruising by, and you'll know that the future has arrived. And speaking of the future, don't forget to subscribe to the Cool Ideas channel for more mind-blowing, electrically charged content, Thanks for being an awesome audience, and remember, if you ever see a semi with its hazard lights on, it's not broken down, it's just charging, good night, everybody.